I'm still here with Niall Horan, Kimberly Williams Paisley, and Mika Brzezinski. My next guests are the founders of Vontel, a new eyewear company with some seriously stylish frames. Say seriously five times fast. I dare you. Okay. Even more impressive, they launched this company in the pandemic and still succeeded, which is crazy. Both are mamas in their 50s, proving it's never too late to try something big. Everybody say hi to Tracy and Nancy. All right, so meet Kimberly, meet Niall, meet Mika. Hello. Love your glasses. Thank they you. Are super yes. cool. I know, I love the ones you're wearing right now, too. Thank so, you. So, to Nancy Tracy, uh, you've been friends for years, but what? this is your first business together, right? So what made you want to do this? Man, it was crazy. We just basically found out that eyewear doesn't fit our faces. Uh, we're both from New York. We met in college at Morgan State University at HBCU in Baltimore, yeah. Maryland. And after college, I went into finance. I became a CFO of a hospital organization. Yeah. And Nancy was in sales and marketing at a big media company. But then one day I lost my glasses. And I called my best friend to complain about it. I was just like, they don't look great and they don't fit. Yeah. Um, tell us about the glasses. Like, Why did you want to start it? What did, what did you feel like the fit was off? Well, we realized that glasses were not made for diverse features. That's first and foremost. So if you have a wider bridge, if you have higher cheekbones, or if you need glasses because you're, you need a longer temple, you know, glasses just generally don't fit your face properly. Because every time I smile, they do this. Exactly. Yeah, they, cool. they hurt. They can cause yeah. headaches. They can cause, you know, lines on your face that are not necessarily attractive, or even the impressions on your nose, you can see that. So yeah. when we realized that glasses were not comfortable, I saw a huge business opportunity. I booked tickets for us to go to Paris, France, one of yeah. the largest eyewear expos in the world. I didn't think it was Paris, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, from there, we had a huge aha moment. Yeah. We realized there was no representation, which was why there were glasses that simply did not fit people with diverse features. Yeah. yeah. And then we were just lucky enough to kind of get a licensing agreement with Nickelodeon. Paramount, Nickelodeon, and that really took us to the next level. That seems yeah. so random to me. Yeah. You just said Nickelodeon. Oh my God, that's crazy. Yes. You never know where your partnerships will come from. Yeah. They. Yeah. They contacted us, loved what we were doing, asked if we would be interested in launching a line of glasses for children. Yeah. So, you know, we have glasses now that are SpongeBob, Rugrats, so and cool. Baby Shark. So we are really just very proud of what we're doing, but it is really an uphill battle. Mm. It's not easy getting in the right rooms, being able to see the right people and the funding. Those are things that are missing in the business, but, you know, because Tracy and I, we bootstrapped this business to get as far as we have. Yeah. So, you know, it's all about getting the right funding and getting in front of the right people so that we can take this business to the next it's level. any product. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Well, Mika, you have something to offer these ladies, so what is it? I sure do. Uh, Tracy and Nancy, I happen to be the chairwoman of the Forbes 3050 Summit in Abu Dhabi. And this is, of course, the 50 over 50 list and the 30 under 30 list coming together in Abu Dhabi to hear from people like Hillary Clinton, Billie Jean King, Malala, Misty Copeland, Catherine O'Hara, a lot of like amazing people on stage, but also business owners and people who have start up uh, new ideas. Aisha Curry is going to be there, Jessica Alba. You know who's going to be there? Karen Wazen of KW Eyewear. I would love to invite you both. I will give you tickets to be my guest at the 3050 Summit in Abu Dhabi so you can come with me to network to make connections, to share ideas, and to help lift women up from around the world. Will you come with me? So cool. oh my God. God. Amazing. You're oh beaming. God. Thank you, Mika. That's so cool. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. That, everybody just needs opportunity. That's incredible, Mika, that one, you are in the position to be able to do that for people and that you do so. And then also it's incredible to have that opportunity like come come at you. I, I can tell Tracy and Nancy are excited, okay? <laughs> but also wondering how they'll be able to, you know, Abu Dhabi for this game-changing event. The getting there is going to be a little pricey, but don't worry because we got you covered. Etihad Airways is the official airline partner of the summit and they're hooking you each up with round trip tickets to the UAE's capital city. So you don't have to pay the <laughs> You're have the flights and everything. And actually, that's not all. Because you mentioned it is about finding networking stuff, but it's also very expensive to make this all happen. So she's gonna help you get in, we're gonna help you get there, 
And then also, that's not Forbes wants to be sure that you enjoy your stay in comfort, so they are covering the five-night hotel stay for you oh. as well. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> this would be incredible. It's the 3050 Summit is March 7th through the 10th, everybody. Mika will be there covering it on Morning Joe, which you can catch weekdays on MSNBC from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m.